Actually, I have found yeast sensitivity to be important both in Crohn's and ulcerative colitis in individual cases. And um, yeast is, there are many yeasts in the, in the body and there are some yeasts that um, have actually been shown to aggravate Crohn's disease, not Baker's yeast, other um, special types of um, species of candida that are not typical pathogens. Um, have been associated with um, aggravations of Crohn's disease. And um, in ulcerative colitis, some of the genetic studies have shown associations between um, certain enzymes in the GI tract that are related to the ability to overcome fungal infection that are weak. So there, what, what I've observed is there's a mixture of susceptibility to yeasts with an excessive immune response and an, even an allergic reaction to yeast that occurs in maybe 20-25% of people with Crohn's and, ulcer, and or ulcerative colitis. Uh, and if you address that and you cut down on the, do, on the growth of yeast in the intestine, you can get very dramatic improvements. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Now, uh, I remember many years ago, I saw um, a, a young girl with Crohn's disease, she was 13. She had a twin sister, an identical twin who did not have Crohn's. I went through their history and the difference between them is that the girl who had Crohn's had had a lot of ear infections and had received a lot of antibiotics, whereas the the healthy twin sister had not. So I said, well, let's just try a, a, a drug that will kill the yeast in your gut and, um, uh, and a yeast elimination diet. She was at it total, I mean, within a month, she was so much better. She stayed in remission and she was going to a, ver a top university pediatric GI clinic. And they basically said, well, this is great. We don't want to know what you're doing, but keep doing it. Okay. So on that topic of yeast, uh, there is another kind called Saccharomyces boulardii. Can you right. talk so, a bit about that? There, Saccharomyces boulardii is very interesting. Um, Saccharomyces boulardii actually can help inflammatory bowel disease, even in people who have ASCA antibodies. Hmm. Um, I have on occasion seen allergic reactions to Saccharomyces boulardii, mostly in the form of skin rashes. Um, but it, um, it has immune modulating effects in the gastrointestinal tract. It increases the production of protective antibodies that are called IgA antibodies. It um, seems to downregulate in inflammation directly. Um, and it has a very interesting history. It was discovered growing on lychee nuts in French Indochina in the 1920s. It was developed basically as a drug in France. The French call it yeast against yeast. And uh, it certainly is the best um, preventive probiotic and even treatment probiotic for antibiotic-induced diarrhea and traveler's diarrhea. So, um, and it's very widely used around the world it's not typically used for long periods of time. And it seems to have an anti-diarrheal effect. So where I'll especially use it is in someone with IBD who has diarrhea, it helps to control it most of the time.